that the Ministry for Works and Housing has accused contractors of Saglemi Housing a project of misappropriating over $129 million in the construction of some 141,000 housing units out of the 5,000 expected. The contractors Constratora OAS Ghana Limited, having a letter cited by Joe News, told the Ministry it cannot continue with the project, demanding the refund of monies due them in tax waivers. But addressing a news conference, Works and Housing Minister Samuel Atachia said, Government cannot take over the facility until the Attorney General has advised. Even before government properly terminates the contract, a number of investors have already shown interest in completing the project. That's according to the Works and Housing Minister, Samuel Atachia. He, however, noted that the investors have to wait. We will not be able to take over the project unless we have the opinion of the Attorney General, who is a principal um, uh, legal advisor to the government in terms of Article 88 of the Constitution. When we have the advice, we have our view as a ministry, but we have to defer to the Constitution and let the Attorney General advise. When we receive the advice, we know what to do. And very soon, certain things are in the background. There are a lot of investors who want to come and continue the projects, but they can't continue until the projects are properly I mean, assessed what has been done, and then the legalities are in place for the contract to be terminated. The minister also revealed that the contract, as approved by government, was altered by the then sector minister, Collins Dowda, without recourse to parliament. Parliament has approved that 200 million United States dollars, less some charges, should build 5,000 housing units. But something happened on the, 12th of the 27th of February 2014. Without parliamentary approval, the parties, that is uh, my ministry, rep uh, I'm representing the government of Ghana, and the contractor reviewed the original agreement and signed what they called first and restated agreement with Messias. Constitura OS Ghana Limited to define the number of houses to be constructed. That is 1,502 housing units. The price of the contract sum remained the same, 200 million United States dollars. And this was a time of um, the minister called Honorable Collins Dauda. These are cold facts. As fate to have it, President Mahama lost power. We know that. And then on the 21st day of December 2016, 14 days after he lost power, the chief director of my ministry, Juan Alaji Ziblim Yakubu, and the contractor, reviewed the first amended a restated agreement and signed a second and restated agreement in which the scope of the works were reduced to 1,024 housing units. And it was said that the contract sum should come to um, 108,519,000 United States dollars. Mr. Atachia maintains that the project shouldn't have stalled because every financial provision was made. He gives a breakdown of how the monies were spent as compared to the work done. They come out with this J. June argument that, oh, um, we are owed, uh, 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 we have to refund some tax. That's about a bare 2.6% of the amount. I want you to understand it because we don't want to joke with this issue. To whom much is given, much is also expected. The Bible says that. If you were blessed with any contractual undertaking and you have used 99.39% of the contract sum, I'm afraid 
you have no excuse to complain why we can't see the 5,000 housing units on site. Okay. The upshot is that the contractor has misappropriated the sum of 129-898-516.80 million United States dollars. In the meantime, Ghanaians who want to acquire an apartment within the housing unit cannot do so because the minister says it's not habitable. It is very clear that we do not have a sewage system in place. So I can't understand how any individual can go and live in a house where there is no sewage system. The taps are not running. There is no electricity. Some people will say that whose responsibility is that? They call it on-site infrastructure. Every on-site on infrastructure is the work of the contractor. Ernest Min for Joy News. Coming up in business, your news desk, Ghana Chamber of Commerce warns of likely collapse of local manufacturing firms should recent intermittent power cuts continue. Daryl Powell is standing by for details.